Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday, and today we're starting off with some moody effects because we're going into The Moon Priestess Returns, the favorite of mine because of all the Lovecraft cards you can find from it. So we're going to jump into this thing and see what we can get. Really quick, we're still doing the giveaway for these Mistopheles Abyssal Tyrant cards, so make sure to go to the last video the contest is going on till the 11th, so go to the last video and comment promo card and check that out. There should be a card up here somewhere, and the link will be in the description as well. So if you're interested in a giveaway, go to that video, leave a comment, and subscribe, and it's US eligible. Check it out. Yeah, so we're going to jump into this pack, and uh, I'm excited to. Uh, you guys voted for it again this time. Another landslide of Moon Priestess Return votes. Uh, we're up against the Dragon Emperor and Winds of Amis Moon and the Moon Priestess, and as much as I want to open Return of the Dragon Emperor, which we will get to eventually, everybody wanted to see this, and I was perfectly fine with it, because I am actually making a Cthulhu deck. Yeah, I'm finally building a Force of Will deck, so I've got this nice, this nice deck box that my wife got me for Father's Day, or my birthday, I should say, but it took like four months to get in because of the coronavirus, so... <laughs> Yeah, so it finally came in, but this thing is really sweet. It's got a nice die thing there, or for tokens, inside. Boom. We've got the start of my deck that I'll be putting together. Uh, I don't know which way I'm going to... Oh, they're falling. I don't know how I'm going to build the deck yet. Uh, might go mono black type deal, uh, but we've got all the goodies in here of stuff I've already pulled. So as you can see, some Shantax, uh, some 40 Thieves. If I want to splash the red, I might go red. Yellow King, King in Yellow. Very cool stuff. We've got our Black Goats. All the cool stuff in here. So I'm excited. And there is especially one card that I need to pull from this set. And that is Dark Fiend, Nara Lethotep, the J Ruler. So that's the guy we're looking for in this, in this box. Hopefully we can find him. All right, let's get back to some proper lighting here, though, shall we? Boom, lights. Boom, window up. There we go, back to some better lighting. So now we can get this thing cracking open and see what we can find in here. Got to move all my other knickknacks to the side a little bit. All right, yeah, let's, let's open this thing up. We should cruise through the whole box since we've already done a Moon Priestess Returns. We'll cruise through this one. Uh, yeah, but we need to find... Gnarl at the tap. That's, that's the big one we're looking for. I'll take any of the other uh, good cards from my deck, too. I'm missing a couple here and there, but... Ooh, there we go. Moon Priestess. Oh, you gotta love it. Such a good set. Such a fun set. This was one of the first ones I opened, actually, too. I think I opened Ancient Knights, and then uh, I got into the Moon Priestess. So, yeah. And if you haven't known, I mean, Lovecraft theme going on here. Me and my wife just started playing The Sinking City as a new gameplay series of ours. So uh, I think we've gone through the first couple episodes by the time this gets released. So check those out if you're interested. A really cool game. But yeah, let's uh, let's dig into these things, shall we? All right. Oh, straight away we got a Shantak. Yep, got plenty of him, though. Uh, Phantasmal Void. My camera's tripping out a little bit. Oh, boy. Uh is it going to be doing this the whole time? Probably. 40 Thieves. Oh, no. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Come on. Oh, nice. Hound of Tenelos. Rare Foil. That's a good one. I need that one. Magic Stone of Darkness. And the Moon City Uncommon and Exceed Ancient Magic. That's right. There's two Uncommons at the back. I had to reset my, my stuff here a little bit to try to get this autofocus going again. So hopefully that'll work a little bit better. All right, next pack, a nice wind dagger. Oh, it's still going, isn't it? Oh, no, don't do this to me. Apostle of Cain, Crime and Punishment. And, ooh, a Shining Trapohesron foil. Very nice. I did a Water Magic Stone, a Young Mage, and a Wiseman of the Winds. All right, I fixed it. I had my auto-tracking lock on or something like that, so now we should be in business. King in Yellow, very nice. Sign to the Future, Open Sesame, Call of Cthulhu, 40 Thieves. And we've got the Lonely Child as our rare. Behind it, boom, bang. I forgot, when we move faster on these packs, we just skip right to the rare. So that's what we're going to do. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, 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 there we go. Magnus of the Holy Wind is our super rare. And the Spirit of the Lamp rare foil. Ooh, ooh, a nice Magic Stone of Moonlight, too. Oh, very nice. Oh, that was a good pack. Into the next one. 
Let's cruise. Boom, boom. We've got the Snow Queen foil. Ooh, nice. Alice, the Guardian of Dimensions as our rare. Very cool. I don't think I've gotten her. So that's nice. And nothing else. All right. Keep burning. Oh, I just ripped a card. Oh, man. I got to remember to tuck these packs down so I don't do that. The Little Prince. Behind it. Ooh, Ragnarok, the Divine Sword of Savior. Very cool. What's the one I ripped? Oh, I ripped this one. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Scrunch it down. That's the key. Yeah, scrunch them all down before you open it. All right. Let's go through. We've got Rare. Haster, the Unspeakable. Very cool. He might go in my deck, potentially. Magic Stone of Moonlight as well. Very nice. So tell me, how should I build my Cthulhu deck? What's the best deck version out there? I know some people are playing with, like, Blazer, the other J Ruler. Uh, but I, I want to play with Narlathotep, so what's the best version of the deck for Narlathotep? Uh, Abel, the Avengers of Gods, very nice, and the Genesis creation, not really valued at anything. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. I've seen a few deck lists that I'm pretty happy with, but uh, I'm open to suggestions. A nice split Heaven and Earth, Magic Stone of Light, and that's it. There we go. Alright, straight to the rare, let's do this. Milky Way Galaxy. Ooh, Blazer, the Eater of Dimensions. He's a pretty good card. A lot of people have used him in decks. Ooh, Flame of the Outer World. I like that one, too. That might go in my deck as well. Sorry, I may say that a lot in this episode. Oh, that'll go in my deck. That'll go in my deck. Honestly, I, I have most of the cards. Uh, I just need a, a couple of them. So Shining Trapohedron again. Very nice. Magic Stone of Moonshade. Very nice. Boom, uncommons. Into the next. We got Dragon on the front. We got 40 Thieves. Little Prince again, and Gerda the Tear of Passion as our rare, and the Uncommons. Alright, faster. Let's do this. Come on. What do we got? Uh, Apollo Break, the Moon Blast, and that's it. Go, go, go. Let's see what we can find. A... I, the Pilot. That's, that's not a great one. Come on, Dark Fiend. That's all I want to see here. What do we got? Ooh, yeah! Zero, the Magnus of Null. Very cool card. Very nice. That's great. Awakening at the end behind it. And yeah, not a double, that's right, but this is a beautiful card. Love the artwork on this one. Into the next. Boom. Uh, oh, almost hit the rare straight away. Uh, Apollo Spear, the Moon Lance. Behind it, just a Darkness Magic Stone. Call of Cthulhu on the top. Is it a good sign? Oh, there it is, right? Stories uh, told in a thousand and one nights. And that's it. Boom. Give me something good with the black goat. We've got Compel the Milky Way Moon. Behind it, a fallen comet. And yeah. All right, a kitty cat on the front. We've got our first J Ruler, Apostle of Creation. Swip that around. Ooh, we got a nice one behind it, too. Cain, the Traitor of Gods. I haven't gotten him yet. That's pretty cool. Don't know what he's valued at. And then we've got Bakli, the Winged Lady, which uh, I also need for my deck. I think I've only got two copies. I think I'm going to be running four, so that'll go over to the side. Whew. Yeah. What is it good for? Absolutely Akasha Records of the Eternal Flame. Very cool. And that would be it into the next one here let's go let's go we've got another able avenger of the gods and another shining trapo he is to drawn all right we're going at a good pace now i like it and we've got ooh pandora weaver of myth uh, apollo moonbreak blast whatever uh not that great is this another that's yeah, an uncommon let's check her out Grimma, the savior of myth very cool like that one haven't gotten her yet either well, that's two J rulers down. I don't know how many you're guaranteed in this box, but uh, I'm still holding on hope here. Glimpse of Cayuga is a rare, and this, that one. I'll be a little sad. I'll be a little sad if we don't get Narla at the top. He's like a $5 card, too, because a lot of people do play with him. But we do get a Yogg-Soth, the Dark Myth. Very nice. I'll take that. Behind it, ooh, yeah, nice pack. A Baiki, the Winged Lady. Very good. Cthulhu, Cthulhu, I love the Cthulhu cards. Let's go. Boom, we've got Split Heaven and Earth and a Magic Stone of Moonshade. Not bad. Next one, 
Come on, give me the goods. Aladdin's lamp, that's not the goods. Bummer. Alright. Come on, our chance is slim here. There's our rare Apollo Break, the Moon Blast. And, ooh, yeah, that's where we want to be. The Little Red, the Pure Stone. Not the variants, though. Remember, you can get variants of this card that can go for some good value. There's a blue, uh, a green, a yellow, and a purple, I believe, are the four different colors. Uh, so if we can find a variant of that, I'll be pretty happy, too, honestly. The Legendary Pure Stone. Ooh, another Zero Magnus of Null. Very nice. I don't know how much she's worth, but I'll take it. Akashic Records behind it. Go, go, go. Come on. Give me the fun. And... We've got Flame of Outer World as our rare. Very nice. Such a cool card. Ooh, that box is getting quite low. Quite low. Another Flame of the Outer World. All right, all right. Boom. Into this one. Here we go. Flying Carpet. Glimpse of Cayuga. Not really worth anything. All right, that one opened real easy. Let's go. Oh, yeah, very nice. Uh, Subnugaroth, the Goddess of Fertility. Very cool card. Debating if I want to put her in the deck. Doesn't seem like she's the best, the, the best though. Oh, oh, there's one more behind it. Oh, we got Seth the Arbiter. All right, very nice. Oh, no. We've only got four more packs to find Naralethotep. Come on. Can we do it? Three J rulers per box is what I'm holding out for, I guess. Aladdin's Lamp. Magic Stone. Next one. Come on. Give us the goods. Nope. We've got Simbad, the Windrider Merchant. Not worth anything, really. And Tear of Passion behind it. Two more packs. Two more packs. Come on. Let's see. Akashic Records, Eternal Flame. I think that's it. Yep. And our last pack of Moon Priestess Returns. Hey, we don't find them in here. I may have another box coming in, so leave a like if you want to see me open more Moon Priestess Returns. We're going through this one nice and slow. Yin Mage and a Shining Trapo. He is Dedrani Dron as our rare with nothing else. All right, all right. Well, look at all the Lovecraft cards we got here. Nice Flame of Outer Worlds, a Yog Soth, very cool. A bunch of Shining Treble Hezrons. Uh, by Key, very cool. Haster, don't know if I'll play him. And Hound, really cool cards. Pulls of the day. I'm excluding the some of the Lovecraft cards. I'll th I think Yog Soth might be worth like a buck or something. But Blazer, I'm not sure what he goes for. I know he sees some play, so he might be valued at like a buck. Uh, Alice, not sure about her either. You gotta love the Magic Stones, though. Those usually hold some value. Pure Stone, that's at least like a $2 card or something like that. And these J-Rulers, we'll find out about these guys. Then we got double zeros, which is pretty seat. Uh, seat? Sweet. <laughs> Very cool. Well, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed. Prices up on screen for how we did on the box. Leave a like, leave a comment if you want to see me open up more of the Moon Priestess Returns, since we didn't find them. We didn't find Naralethotep. I think we got to keep searching a little bit. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video.